Hello artists! Today you'll be starting to, well, decorate your bird. You're going to make a drawing like this where you color it in and explain what materials you'll be using. So googly eyes, magazines, feathers, paint, what well, colors of paint, construction paper. Get a plan. Once that's approved, then you'll be ready to hopefully begin painting. I cut out some paper to show you what I meant about like using magazine for some feathers or construction paper too. That's something that you would add after you paint, but just so you can keep that in mind. Okay, so in my design I have yellow, magenta, and turquoise, and purple. I'm going to start with the lightest color first. I really don't want to get any other color paint in this yellow because it's so very light. You have to make sure that your brush is super dry. We don't want to water down the paints. There might even be paint left in your brush from the last burnt. So make sure that's all out and that your brush is completely dry. Okay. Once it's dry, you're ready to begin. So I will start with my face. And don't be afraid to use a healthy amount of paint. A lot. We don't want to see that paper underneath. You gotta get all those little white spots. If you think you're done, ask your neighbor. They'll tell you the truth. This kind of looks cool if it looks kind of textured anyway, like a real bird. But then again, your birds are imaginary, so keep that in mind too. So I'm getting the whole head. Let me get the idea. Now, I just wanted to demonstrate to you changing colors. So, my brush is full of yellow. I'm going to swish it around my water cup a bunch of times. Make sure it's touching the bottom of the cup. That extra water. Make sure that you, oh, I still have some yellow on there. Make sure that you get out as much water as you can before you go on to the next one. So, my next lightest color would be the magenta or the pink. So, be very careful. Try to get as close to that yellow as I can without even touching it. And if you have an oops, you have an oops, that's okay. Always do another layer. The big thing is please try not to mix the paints. Make sure you wash off your brush and dry it really well. Don't dilute the paints. And get all those white spots. Don't be sloppy about this. You've worked so hard on your bird, it would be such a shame for it to look sloppy just because of your quick paint job. Have fun!